Sandra Bowman lost 26 pounds in five months with intermittent fasting. Thank you for being here today, Sandra. Why don't you give everybody a little introduction? Who are you and what do you do? Okay, um, I'm Sandra Bowman and I'm a small town from a small town in Louisiana. So um, it's where I grew up, but uh, we live different places, Mississippi for a while and stuff. And my, I'm married, been married for 32 years. And my husband is a minister, so he's been in the ministry most of our, our married life. So we have two sons and two wonderful daughter-in-laws, and we've got a granddaughter, a grand, two grandsons, and another granddaughter on the way. Oh, well, congratulations. Thank you. And I'm a medical coder, so I work from home, and I love it. <laughs> oh, love it. Okay, so why don't you tell everybody how you've found success uh, with intermittent fast? Like, how much have you lost and, and what do you do? Okay. I started in uh, January. So when I, I found out about intermittent fasting, so um, my goal was to lose 10 pounds. Okay. So, because I'm, I'm pretty active. I have been for the last several years. So um, I run and do weights and things like that. But I still, you know, had a lot of health problems the last few years. So I started back in November and noticed that I was starting to pick up weight, even though I was still working out. So mm -hmm. I had thought about intermittent fasting, looked it up and everything. And like I said, 10 pounds, I'm like, okay, I'll be happy with that. And then I got so much more than I ever hoped for. <laughs> Not just with weight, but I was just so surprised and just been, you know, so pleased with it. And so I'm down 26 pounds. That's awesome. So what was it about intermittent fasting that su surprised you? Um, I guess part of it was the ease of it. And then I've always been a very picky eater. So it was like, okay, I've got to find something that, because a lot of the diets, you know, I didn't like a lot of the different foods and everything. And so, and then I've tried everything else, <laughs> you know, peel, shake, you, know, you name it. So I, right. I think I've tried about all because I was such a picky eater. I thought, well, that's what worked for me. And it did work over the years, you know, different times, but you know, then I would gain it, lose it, gain it, lose it. So, mm. and, um, so, but yes, I was very surprised that it was just, you know, a little bit easier than I thought it was and that the weight just started coming off. That's great. So what is, what is your daily routine? Like, like, do you, do you do uh, certain exercises every day and what's, what's your like window like? Okay. I, um, well, I started out with my window doing like a 16, a, so, mm -hmm. and so that's what, you know, I said, well, I'll start with that. Well, first I backed up my breakfast a little bit each day. So I got to the, you know, and I would eat between 10 and six, so mm -hmm. 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And, um, but I work out, like I said, I do weights about two days a week and I run, walk two days a week. So I'm up at 4 a.m. and headed to the gym and cause I start work at six. So, um, I like to get my workout in before I start work. So. Um, but that's what I do, and um, then I also kind of switched. I mean, I've read a ton of books, and so <laughs> I'm like thinking on my tenth book. <laughs> I just found it so fascinating, and so I've been doing a lot of research and I, YouTube, of course, and podcasts. That's where I found you, uh -huh. and so through YouTube and read your book. And so I started doing one meal a day, and mm -hmm. so I've kind of did that for a while. Mm -hmm. And um, so then I've kind of kind of maintaining right now. So some days I'll have two meals, you know, and it's usually from like 1130 to six is my time. Mm -hmm. I may start later or I may, you know, if we're out somewhere or something and eat a little bit later. But usually that's that's my window of time there that I eat. Excellent. And if you don't mind me asking, like, while you're maintaining, what is your goal right now? Like, do you have kind of a leeway? How, how do you kind of approach that? Yeah, I do. Um, you know, like I said, I kind of maintain them. It's like, hey, if I lose some more, that's fine. Or really, it's more about kind of shaping up, you know, right. so, and, and like some, some places I would like to see, you know, better. But um, as far as the weight, I'm really happy with that. I mean, I'm back down to what I was when we got married 32 years ago. Yeah. I never in my life thought that would happen. So, that's awesome. I, was, I went to try on some clothes here recently and needed some new shorts, and, and oh. I got two sizes down from what I had last summer. And then I had to go leave the dressing room. I was so excited. I had to go get another pair smaller than that. Yes, yeah. so, yeah, so I was very busy. 
say. <laughs> Excellent. So why don't you uh, give us a little backstory with your weight? Has this always been an issue for you? Um, not ch through my childhood. Through my child, I was okay. always small. No problems with mm -hmm. my weight. I'm fine, you know, but as far as, as we were always active and outside and did different things, played sports and other things. So, you know, I never really had a problem with my weight. So we got married and I had kids. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and then it was like the roller coaster started. I mean, mm. I went from, you know, I'd gain the weight, then I would lose it. And like I said, I always would use different kind of, you know, whatever I could find, pills or shakes or just something that would help kind of curb my appetite. Exercise, I did exercise off and on through the years. And Weight Watchers and, and things like that that really, you know, work. Like I said, my husband's in the ministry, so basically everything we did through, through church, it seems like we ate all the time. <laughs> right. all the, you know, worked with a lot of youth and stuff, and it was always food around when you work with kids and everything. So anyhow, it was just like I said, I just kind of struggled, and I'd bounce back and forth. And uh, my oldest son graduated high school in 09, and I remember we took a picture, mm. and I looked at that picture, and it was like the heaviest I had been since mm. I had I was nine months pregnant. That was the same weight I was right. then. So I was like, okay, I've got to do something. So um, so I did. And, you know, I started, you know, doing some things and went back to, uh, you know, pills again. And they helped and all that. But I knew it was like something you can't stick with, though, or can't sustain. So, And then I guess I, um, back in a few about seven years ago we moved back to our hometown in louisiana our mm -hmm. parents are both here still alive so we come to be here for them and our kids were off mm -hmm. at college so um but my dad was on kidney dialysis at the time so um but i actually went through and was able to be a donor for him oh wow. so, yes yes so in 2013 um i was able to do that and then but the doctor told me before, which I had gained some of my weight back, but not all of it. Mm -hmm. He said, you know, you need to lose a little weight, he said, and then try to keep it off. And I was like, okay. And so that was kind of a push there for me. So I mm -hmm. lost 10 pounds before the surgery. And then after, I joined the local gym. And so that kind of, you know, kept me pretty good for a while. And like I said, mm -hmm. I kind of, even though I was working out, running and stuff, I kind of went back and forth mm -hmm. and with my weight. And then I've had the last two years had some health issues. Ended up with a pacemaker. No, what? <laughs> so uh, yes. <laughs> so anyhow, but my whole mom's family has a lot of heart issues. So anyhow, it was just probably hereditary. And then um, some other things. And then I um, in December I noticed I was starting to pick up weight. Oh, well, back in November, one of the picture I sent you, like I said, started to pick up weight again. <laughs> And so I was also going through um, a lot of symptoms that we actually found out at the end of January. I have Meniere's disease, so um, which causes a lot of, of um, tinnitus, which is like a roaring sound in your ear. And it's just very, you know, it can be very depressing. So basically right. when, I find, when I found intermittent fasting, I, I need something to get my mind off of what all's going on. You know, I, I can't do anything about it, right. but I need something about my weight. Right, yeah. So, yeah, so that's kind of what, um, you know, spurred me on, I guess. What are some challenges that you still face? Um, let's see. I still sometimes have some hunger issues because I ended up, when I um, got on medication for the Meniere's disease, mm. one of the medications, a steroid. Oh. And so, yeah, that was it. <laughs> So, anyhow, I'd already been lost a few pounds with intermittent fasting, but I really hadn't gotten excited about it yet because I was just kind of going through the motions, you know, hey, this seems to be working. But anyhow, so when he took put me on that, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> mm, all right. People on steroids, you know, usually gain weight. And yes. so I was terrified of that. So I said, okay, I've got to really pick this up and really see if this works. And I'm just going to continue doing it. I don't have a choice. And so I was so surprised. I kept losing weight. Oh, wow. You know? And I was really just su surprised. And mm -hmm. so, matter of fact, I went to my primary care physician a few weeks ago for a checkup. And so uh, I had lost, you know, the weight. And I was down 24 pounds then. And he said, 
so what are you doing? And I said, so I told him, I said, I'm fasting. He goes, really? <laughs> so anyhow, he kind of asked me, you know, what what my window of eating was. And he just said, I just want to make sure you're getting enough nutrition and everything. And, right. so, and, um, and all of that. And I said, and I told him, I said, and I've done this while being on steroids. <laughs> Yes, that is surprising. So I yeah. was surprised at that. And, um, but yeah, I was. I was really surprised. My labs, I just had done last week. So I was excited to get those done to kind of tell you about those. Because when you're a kidney donor, your kidney function is always going to be, you know, it's not going to be perfect. So right. you're going to have to with it. And that's just normal. So right. they had told me that, that it'll always be that way. Well, my kidney function is completely normal. Wow. This has been six years. So, yes, it has always not been. And it was completely normal. And I told you, I said, I think that's why. I think it's yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> so, and also, that's great. Uh, yeah, my cardiovascular risk, you know, how they, they check your lipids and they check your cholesterol and all that. So, what was exciting was that last October when he checked it, uh, my risk for cardiovascular disease was like, you know, I was anywhere. It's called a remnant cholesterol. Mm -hmm. And so I kind of figure it up and it kind of gives you where you might be. And I was like, not very good, like right. 25%. So if you're below 17, that's really good. Well, mm -hmm. when I got my test results last week, I am a 13.8. Whoa! <laughs> yes, yes. So that was exciting, even though. <laughs> Because I've kind of been doing a little bit more keto just because mm -hmm. of being on the steroids, you know, right. the, and having too many carbs is not good. So, right. and i kind of been watching that. I'm not doing full keto, more low carb and everything. But yes, and I believe that's what is, is making the difference. I couldn't believe my blood work. I was just so excited. And that yeah, so that was, that was really, really good. What is one piece of advice you would give to somebody else out there? They're just starting out trying to lose weight. What would you tell them? Okay. I, I told a few friends about it. I've already got them doing it. So my husband is one and he's almost down 25 pounds. Oh. And so, oh, wow. yes, yes. Yeah. So a few more friends and thing, but Basically, it's what I would tell him. Trust the process. Mm, <laughs> I've yes. heard that so many times that, I mean, and it will work. And, you mm -hmm. know, don't give up because it, it may take time. Like, I was surprised. I um, mean, I lost pretty much about a pound a week. Mm -hmm. Maybe not quite that much. But it was right. like, you know, one night I would eat something. I'd think, oh, I'm probably gained five pounds. And I'd get on the scale and go, really? <laughs> I would think about what I ate, and I was thinking, really? So I was, right. my husband's kind of finding the same thing, you know. Right. And, um, but, yes, and change one thing at a time. That would be my thing. Just, yes. you know, don't start out if you're not an exercise, you know, don't exercise or don't enjoy that. Start out by just changing, like, maybe backing up your breakfast, you know. Right. You eat that and just kind of closing in your window till you're comfortable with it and, and everything. So, yes. Yes. Oh, right. very good. I totally agree with all of that. So, um, so is there any question that I didn't ask you that you wish I would have? Um, well, I thought about this and the one question I could think of is, so, um, you know, what um, are other ways that intermittent fasting has mm. changed me besides the weight? So, mm. And I would say that it has definitely changed um, my relationship, my spiritual relationship, mm. more than I ever thought. It has helped me with dealing with, like I said, my health issues that I've had the last few years. I really think it's helping with my Meniere's disease symptoms. Oh, I just really, really do because I haven't had any since I've started. And so, mm. you no, know, and I've heard other people say um, that that does help. So, mm -hmm. um, but just, you know, change and I just the way I look at other people too, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I want to help other people. And I want to, that's kind of why right. I want to tell my story. Cause I, you know, if there's somebody out there that I could, you know, touch with my story that would yeah. inspire them, you know, that's something I want to do. I mm -hmm. heard somebody, I think it was on one of your stories with the guy talking about he sent someone that was overweight in a, in a, a scooter or something, wanted to run over there. And I'm like, I know exactly what he's talking about. Right. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah. so there's something that can help you. So that's, I just kind of feel like it, you know, that would be something I'd like to, I like to say that, that I want to try to help others. Very good. And you, you mentioned kind of spiritually, it, it has changed you a little bit. It, it, is it just about the helping other people or is there more to that? I think it's just um, because I never really, when I started fasting, it was to lose weight, mm -hmm. you know. And so, and the Bible talks a lot about fasting. Mm -hmm. And as far as the religion I'm in, we didn't really practice it as a whole like a lot right. of religions do. And so, the more I got to reading about it, I'm like, you know, I really think this is something we should be doing. Right. And um, when your mind's not full of, of, or your body's not full of food and constantly mm. thinking about food and all the time, you have time to think about other things, you know, right. what's yes. important and things like that. So, I really think that that just has helped me with that so much. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Sandra, for, for sharing your story. I think it will help other people. Um, if people would like to get in touch with you, is there a good way they can do that? Yes, uh, sure. I'm on Facebook. Okay. And it's Sandra Kimball Bowman. So, and okay. my email um, uh, is, S is sbowman1224 at gmail.com. Or I am on Instagram, too. And it's Miss Bowman, one, two, two, four. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Sandra. I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I appreciate all that you do in helping others and everything. Well, thank you. I hope you enjoyed that success story. If you have lost a significant amount of weight with intermittent fasting, please reach out to me at Kayla at six miles to supper .com. I would love to interview you for one of these success stories on my channel. If you're currently trying to lose weight and you're just having a hard time, check out my Slow and Steady Success Academy. There you'll find a course called Intermittent Fasting for Weight Loss 101, where I take you through the entire process from start to finish and how to implement intermittent fasting successfully in your life for weight loss. The link is in the description. The all access pass to Slow and Steady Success Academy is a monthly subscription plan that gets you access to every course that is currently available in this academy as well as any that will become available in the future. Also, you'll get access to our private all-access pass members-only Facebook group.